Hey, welcome back to the recent update on topical solution Cosme RNA, RNA-based topical anti-hair loss product. This is a product that I have already covered in the recent video. If you have been here in 2022, you have probably seen my video on Cosme RNA, how it works, what is its mechanism of action. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the last 18 months that have passed since then, and especially the last eight months since this product have been already made public and available for first Purchasing. We'll have a look at some results, feedback from people, as well as my conclusion and also some odd things that I was able to discover about this company producing Cosme RNA. So make sure you stay tuned. And as always, quick shout out to our sponsor, GoFiber. These are hair building fibers you can use to mask any thinning or patchy areas on your scalp to make your hair look thicker and better. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can visit GoFiber, get a free sample of your choice and try them out, see if you like them. All right, guys, before we have a look at some concrete evidence of people who have used Cosme RNA and their before and after results, it's important to remind ourselves based on their study that they published in 2022, what is actually the duration? What is the time when you are expected to see results? So if we go down there, so let's have a look at the table six, where we can see the total hair counts improvements between the start of the therapy and the 16 weeks and 24 weeks, which will be four months and six months. We can see that uh, the total hair count improvements seem to be peaking at 16 week mark. The value is 7.5. And then after two more months, it's just 7.7. .7, so not that much of an improvement. So it's safe to say that if you are using uh, Cosma RNA, uh, that around the four month mark, you should get a clear picture of what to expect. Also, based on the self-assessment questionnaire, we can see that most of the subjects using the therapy in the study have been like most satisfied around the 16 week mark, 81%. And then it seemed to decrease a bit. And then as far as the feeling of fuller hair in the vertex area, most of the people have been satisfied at the 16 week mark, 63%. And then it was less on the 24 mark. Uh, the only thing that improved past the 16 week mark was the report of decreased hair loss that still got better between the 16 week mark and 24th week mark. Now, one thing as far as the results that I like on the Reddit, there is a community where people are just concerned with Cosme RNA and they're trying it out. So there are also verified purchases. So this is a nice thing that they did. I think there was a lot of noise. There were many people who were posting like some fake reviews or some fake claims. So this is a verified purchase posted just seven days ago. User of Cosme RNA 5.5 months of use. So his summary will be, I will finish off the amount I have and then see how I feel about getting more. I guess I'm disappointed at the moment as I just found out I had the leaky vial issue I saw some others have. I'm down to last vial. At the present moment, I'm hesitant to promote this product despite believing that it works in some form for myself with the reason being that the price point for the amount you get isn't really feasible for most people. And it's true, this product will cost you roughly 300 euro for three months, but you only apply it once every two weeks. So it's quite pricey. I need to give him that. Now, this thing about the leaky vial is something that some other uh, users have been also complaining about. For example, this person, why won't they acknowledge the applicator's issue? This shit keeps leaking and I keep losing months of tonic. Anyone have any solutions on how to apply it better? Or this another verified purchase? I have a lot of hair and applying this stuff. This seems to be a problem. These applicators are probably not the best ones to use. Uh, I have never tried this type of application system. It looks cool, but it's probably not so cool to apply. It doesn't seem to be practical. So that was also a feedback of some people. So the only results I was able to see on Reddit were probably two, three, four, and not many. So let's head over to their customer reviews page of Cosme RNA, where we can see people posting reviews, I think since what, July 2023 until November 2023. So this is the before and after picture. Yeah, it looks slightly better. It looks slightly better, but the angle is different. It's more of a close-up image. And here it's captured from more like the back. 
and here it's like exactly from the top. So the angles is angle is not the same to be honest. Okay, this is a different lighting. So the light is coming from the back and here the light is more like on the left or in the front even. So it's not the same lighting. So you cannot really compare it. Like this is different to this. You know, you can see how the hair is just glowing a little bit but here there is no glow, it's just very dark. It's different lighting, so I cannot judge much. So this is before and this is after, but we don't know how many weeks after or how many sessions or how many applications. I guess this is an improvement. This is the before, this is after. That's actually visibly better. This is after, this is before, this is after, looks better. Looks better to me. This is the only image that I actually like. Like, okay, this actually looks better on the after picture, but we don't know how many times he used or she used the product. Okay, this is a very bad picture, very bad image quality. You can see how the hair is combed differently. And here it's combed forward. It's combed over that bald spot that was visibly here before. So this is a very bad photo, very bad uh, demonstration. This is the before. This is the after picture. I I guess you could say this is slightly better. Yeah, yeah, I could I could say this is probably better. Cosme RNA for two months. Okay, it seems like it helped. It helped. Funny enough, so so far I'm seeing females responding better <laughs> based on just these couple images. But then there are many, many reviews that are just without images and you cannot see anything really. And there is uh, this one, he started in May and in September, it's about the same to be honest. It just, the hair seemed to be styled differently on the crown. I mean, there is not so much difference if you ask me between May and September. Let me know what you guys below. Now, if we are looking at those reviews, we need to take them with a grain of salt. I mean, some of them may be uh, artificially created. I don't doubt that. Some of them have been probably deleted as uh, one of the buyer complained on Reddit. I felt bad review as a verified buyer. They deleted it and he was very angry. And then some people are like, the reviews for this product are sketchy, especially people giving five-star reviews who say they are excited to see results, but haven't seen any results yet. Yeah, definitely. If you see those types of reviews, that's really a big red flag, especially if you see here even like the only people who seem to be happy, they post results that are actually looking better on the after picture are women. I haven't seen one male where I would be like, wow, it worked for this guy. Maybe the first guy? No, not even him. Like any, any man really. So far I'm not seeing males responding well to it. So there was also this guy who posted his results. He started on June and then this is the before picture and this is July, one month later. We can see that it looks Maybe it looks fuller. This might be just, you know, he washed his hair freshly, maybe slightly different lighting. If we go to August, I mean, it's super dark. So this is like totally different lighting compared to June. June, it seems like the lighting is coming from the top, like maybe he's in a bathroom and here it's like during the daytime and the light is somewhere else. It's not even behind him. So it's looking super dark. So this is the type of evidence which uh, is lagging uh, for me. Uh, it's definitely not showing the whole picture. So this is another guy who is sharing his 10 week update and uh, his overall thoughts are, first off, no side effects. Also the application process sucks. So that's something that also he confirms. So I started pumping out the Cosmo RNA into the cap and then using a measured dropper to apply it to my scalp and then massage it in with the rubber tip of the vial. There are also some side effects that some people have been complaining about, like chest pain, heart related side effects. There are some anecdotal reports, some side effects. Again, one, two, probably two or three reports I've stumbled upon where people actually experience some side effects. So this guy, like, I feel very tired. Is it the side effect of cosmic RNA? So things like that occur. It's not necessarily just side effect free. Shed is slowing down. It seems like it's working for this guy. 
So yeah, there are some people who seem to be happy, but as far as results, I'm not convinced yet. Things that are odd that I was able to find about the company was of course that uh, it seems like they've been photoshopping the images. So some people caught them off guard. If you look at, and then they, it seems like they deleted it. It, it was on their website. It seems like it was on their old page. Uh, some people got screenshots. So if you look here, this is the before image on the page. You can see before, and then <laughs> this is the after. <laughs> So it's a clear Photoshop. It looks like it was on their website previously. I might remember this photo, but I cannot uh, confirm it myself. I just see this being posted. So that's something that is not so nice. Plus, if we go to their website, they are posting about a second party testing, which has been done by Dermatest, which is a German independent testing company. And then you can see results after six months of Dermatest clinical trials. Dermatest is the Independent Dermatology Research Institute. The original Dermatest seal of approval is the mark of quality for independently tested products. They're based in Germany and they actually carried out an independent testing for Cosme RNA. It was not a clinical trial. I wasn't able to find that this was actually a clinical trial. There were some people who actually emailed them. And what I found out was that they only did a skin tolerance testing, that the Cosme RNA product is not irritating your skin, but they didn't even do blood tests before and after. So, you know, for potential systemic absorption of Cosme RNA into the system and then potentially inhibiting androgen function and something like that. They didn't do this. They didn't do any clinical trial. They just took the sample and applied it on some people's heads for potential skin irritations. And that was it. At the end of this video, I would like to give you my final verdict, whether I would use it or not. Personally, I will not use it because uh, finasteride is working for me with minoxidil and I'm also using microneedling. So I'm not in the an urgent need to add something, but I can understand people who cannot use minoxidil or finasteride or don't want to use them. They may resort to something like Cosme RNA. It seems like the shedding is at least being managed or stopped while taking Cosme RNA by some individuals. But it seems that the regrowth is not gonna be what many guys would expect for paying 300 euros for three months supply. Because if we would just get the same number of guys who have tried Cosme RNA already and just start them on minoxidil for four to six months, assuming they have never used minoxidil and add microneedling, they would definitely get way better hair thickening and hair stimulation. So in terms of hair stimulating effects, it's definitely not going to be a game changer. It seems like it's going to be definitely less potent than minoxidil. As far as its long-term hair keeping ability, uh, they do compare it to finasteride right on the website but the reality may be also different now as a consumer i'm seeing their six month study on cosme rna so once i use it for six months my results definitely have peaked in terms of hair thickening uh, because that's what we were able to observe based on their terminal count uh, differences, uh, which were very similar between 16 weeks and 24 weeks. So what should make me want to buy more of that product past the six months, knowing I'm not going to get any hair thickening or very little. I'm just going to get hair stabilization, if even that. We don't have any proofs since there is no such study, unlike on finasteride, where there are two years, four years, 10 years studies that finasteride can keep your hair for that amount of time. So we don't have that. Now, as far as side effects, there are definitely going to be side effect occurrences. As some guys have reported some uh, even chest issues, like heart related side effects, some tiredness. And one guy on Reddit was one of the verified purchases I have seen getting um, some, some sexual side effects as well. It will definitely not be as severe as with DHT blockers or 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, but you need to also consider that maybe if you are too sensitive, you may get those types of side effects as well. Now, as far as the photoshopping uh, images, uh, deleting bad reviews on their website, I'm kind of not surprised, but at the same time, it's not nice that the company does it. Uh, it just doesn't look very transparent. It looks like they are hiding something. It looks like they don't want people to know that there are also people with negative, not negative, but 
maybe they don't have such a good result and they just not transparent. They just want to delete it as soon as possible, which is not very nice. And overall price performance ratio, in my opinion, is just too bad. I would definitely not be willing personally to pay 300 euro for three months for what this thing does. And uh, maybe if it would be less expensive, I would consider it. But also the applicator seems to be a pain in the ass. And uh, unless they change it, unless they start with a new applicator, maybe some different bottle, different packaging that will maybe squeeze that gel by just pressing and then being able to massage it somehow, uh, there would be a better way to to apply this thing because if you are purchasing this and you're paying 300 bucks for this every three months and then you know one third of it spills over then it sucks you know and if they don't want to refund your money or they don't want to you know make it up i don't want to be a customer of such a company in the long run so with that being said um i hope you get value out of this video uh for all of you guys who are interested in my one-on-one -on -one consulting services make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can learn more about how i can help you maximize your hair loss reversal and hair transplant success by helping you find the best clinics for your hair type by helping you design the best anti-hair loss protocol, no matter if it's like on top of your hair transplant or without hair transplant, just make sure that you respond the best without the side effects. Uh, thank you so much for watching everybody and see you soon in another video. Take care.